Sometimes we lose patience. And to minimize this, there are, there are proven therapy that has never been used in this country. And one such uh, therapy is called an impeller device. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Al-Fazi Omar. I'm Dr. Thomas Logan. I'm Bruce Lee Mohamed Ali. And I'm Dr. Chu Gimpui. We are a center of excellence uh, in performing CHIP procedures. CHIP means to say uh, doing complex high-risk procedures in a high-risk group of patients. And obviously by doing these uh, cases, we will have a much higher risk of developing complications. So an impeller device is actually a mechanical support uh, device that is used to support the patient's heart during the time that we do procedures. This is a device, a pump, that is placed inside the left ventricle or the left side of the heart. And, uh, get it out in the aorta, just above the aortic valve, and, uh, and in this way, it allows the circulation of the blood to continue. And by doing so, it rests the heart and uh, offloads the heart and reduces stress on the heart. In the past, as we embark on this CHIP program, we do a lot of high-risk patients in terms of their patient profile or the very poor hearts. Many of them are actually rejected by the surgeons. With this impeller, we are able to perform the procedure fairly smoothly without any perturbation on the patient's status. In the most complex part of the procedure, they remain stable. And so we are able to get a great job and we are, of course, yeah, feeling so satisfied. Now, I would like to ask my colleague, Dr. al who happened to do a case, and could you tell me a little bit about that case where he was, he was even asked to go for a heart transplant and you managed to salvage the patient with this particular device? So, um, this case was referred because he had a previous stenting done about three years ago. Um, unfortunately, within the same year, um, he had problems with shortness of breath and chest pains and caused by the failed bypass and the stenting. Um, that he was actually advised for a heart transplant. He's already about 50 plus and due to the scarcity of organs in Malaysia, uh, he may not have, or he may or may not have a good chance for a heart transplant here. Uh, we felt that the best case for him would be using an impella support device. Uh, he's done very well. Um, we've done, we, we put in the stand, he felt better. Two days later, he's been discharged. And we even presented our impella experience uh, in Europe this year, in Paris, in, in Southeast Asia. Uh, we are actually trying to yeah. improve patient outcomes yeah. uh, in using impeller device for high risk cases. Dr. Rusli, uh, are, you, are you really happy that we are the first centre in this country to do uh, uh, the impeller device? When I came and joined CVSL, I thought that we will not be able to do cases of this nature. But uh, this is something I find very uh, satisfying. As a centre, we are able to grow. We are still able to do uh, you know, good uh, pra practice of cardiology and we are at the forefront. We hope in the future, of course, as the numbers go up, prices may come down, and also with the help of our CV Scale Foundation, we're able to maybe support more patients who need it to get access to this technology at a, at a lower cost. We have always been interested in research and teaching and sharing. We're happy to go out and teach our colleagues to do the same. We take great pleasure in thanking all of you for watching this little uh, information on a particular procedure from CBSKL.